Hey YouTube, Ed here, top of the line training. I uh, want to do a quick review on the uh, J79 Sky Crane uh, backpack by Everly Stock. <coughs> Down here in the hills of West Virginia, and I thought it would be a good time to do that. However, it's getting late, it's probably about 4.30, going to be dark probably in about 45 minutes, so i got to hustle. So bear with me. But anyway, let's start with this pack here. I do not have the little brother pack in here. And I will do a review on the total system later. I have done a separate review on the G1 Little Brother um, earlier, so you can check that out as well. Um, so we'll start with the back of the pack. Um, suspension system, breathable, nylon mesh, um, super padded, man. Look at it. Uh, I mean, I can't. Just get up and show you here. I mean, you don't want to miss out on this. Look at that padding on this thing. I mean, look at that pad. It helps keep it cool, ventilated, breathable around your back. Um, I've been walking around all day. Awesome. Um, as well, in here, and I'll do this later. I'm not going to do it now, but it has aluminum stays that you can withdraw and shape to the form, form to uh, the back of your back, the shape of your back. And it helps the equipment ride more in a more comfortable manner. It has a top carrying handle as well on this yoke system. It has a ladder system here. These come out and you can ride them through, and that's basically for uh, people's heights. Uh, you know, taller people go down a little bit. Um, but read the manual on how to adjust it. This uh, waistband or waist strap is removable. And it goes on the, it can go on the G1 Little Brother as well. But uh, here it is. It has Molly all the way around that you can connect different pouches for. As well, you have your adjustable straps here for the uh, chest or for the uh, shoulder straps, as well as a load adjustable strap on each side. And so what that does is bring the load closer to your back, your back, and keeps it balanced and more comfortable again. Um, the pack is made out of Cordor and nylon sateen. Um, it had on also here you have D-rings and you have a chest strap as well. Again, all the straps have these Velcro uh, keepers that you can roll up, uh, Velcro them over, and it, it holds its position like so. It's not dangling everywhere. Flip it around. Make sure you're in there. Okay, flip it around. Um, you have a fanny pack that detaches from here. I'm not going to do it because it's mollied in. I will do a review on that as well later. But the fanny pack itself, um, a huge pocket on top. I have a beanie, hand warmer, GPS, uh, rubber glove, <coughs> some like uh, tender. Kim Light, um, a uh, Phoenix uh, flashlight. I'll put that in my pocket because I might need that to get home by. I'm not far from home, about a half a mile. But anyway, I've come home at dark many times, deer hunting and whatnot. Got some 550 in here. And I also have these uh, bungee straps that you can route through or route around stuff. And they snap on like so, and it holds the stuff in place. And I'll show you what I'm going to use these for later. Um, also, here is another pocket. And I got some Altoids in there. But this pocket here is for um, a pretty deep sized pocket. But it's for a uh, water bladder. You can put a lot of water bladder in here. It's got a, a port lit up here. Somewhere in here. Uh, I can see where it's at right here. And uh, you can route it out. It comes right down the chest strap and drink from it. Uh, whereas also, you, when you detach this, you can have your water with you as well. It also has a front pocket here, waterproof. And this is waterproof as well. But it's felt lined. I have a pair of glasses inside. It's, it's pretty small, but it also has a key uh, keeper, keeper here so that you keep your keys or other things you might not just give it extra retention just don't lose it. I also have some zip ties and a pin in here. I'm not going to uh, 
big into that. Okay. Um, again, nylon sateen, fedora. You can see the molly here. You also have molly on the small, on the fanny pack as well. Um, and molly on the side pouches. Uh, you have this chassis system here where it falls away and opens up like so. You could put clothing or, you know, a sleeping bag, a bundle there, whatever have you, and, and secure it uh, like so. Uh, it has um, compression straps here. Now these are routed on the inside right now, but they can come out and route around the whole pack. But they're routed this way, so if I have crush things that might be damaged, if I crush them, uh, they're route under the pockets. But I don't have that, but I just leave it like that. Anyway, you open this up now, and like I said, this is just the J79 Sky Crane by itself. It's it, you know actually the whole thing has the little brother, which would go in here. But you also can run it like I'm running it right now. And it has a whole modular flap here, as you can see, that you can connect and route all kind of molly uh, bags or whatever, pockets and pouches, and just jerry-rig it however you want to put stuff on. Here I have, on an S-Beaner, I have that 12 by 5 uh, Maxpedition uh, pouch. Um, it's got my jet ball in it, some food and whatnot, drinks. Uh, anyway... Like I said, you can haul anything in here. Um, you can put 150 pounds, 200 pounds of a bag of sand and wrap this thing back up around it and hold it. It's, it's pretty remarkable. Anyway, on these outside flaps here, on the inside of the flaps, I got a uh, pouch. This is for my camera. Big deal. I have a uh, wildflower guide and, and plants and whatnot. Good friend Dr. Les Moore turned me on to that. Uh, here. I have a uh, cheap saw, fescue or whatever. I will get a nice saw later on, but uh, that's what I have for now, so that's what I'm using. I also have a sharpening stone, three three uh, angled sharpening stone, Leatherman, I don't, or as you were, Gerber, and I don't know which one it's called. Uh, the military gave that to me. So, um, Also, I do have the uh, pruning shell shears to that. Uh, they, they would be down in there, but I was setting out some squirrel traps and um, had to step in my pocket. Got another bottom pocket here. I have a couple space blankets in here. I've got some uh, Starkist, uh, you know, great, quick, quick source of food, easy to eat, you know, if you got lost, and then you could even, if you had to, uh, use the container for something, you know, water or whatever. Be a little fishy there, but you know, hey, we've all had some fish here and there. Other side, uh, I have some crackers that have crushed the hell. Um, some uh, Tyson chicken, awesome, awesome. Uh, another quick uh, food source, fill you up, taste good. Uh, you, I, you know, I can put this in ramen or whatever I can do with it, cook it up. And of course, it's ready to eat as it is, but the point is, it's easy to cook, easy to eat. You ain't got to mess around with nothing. Uh, some jerky. Uh, some wet wipes. Always have those things. Uh, good for cleaning, and of course, wiping your ass if you need to. Um, this here is a bag of peanut butter I used to bait the uh, squirrel um, uh, traps. Uh, here is a uh, Nova. Um, it goes around your neck. I've showed this before. You know, it's a light, you know, I've used it out in Wyoming. I mean, talking about pitch black. Supposedly it's only 28 lumens, but uh, man, it works pretty damn good, especially when it's pitch black out. Uh, got a roll of uh, electrician tape couple uh, things of uh, wire for snares and whatever else have you. Um, okay, so that's all that's on the inside. On the outside box, uh, like I said, you can see the molly. Um, you also have these um, 
cinch down pockets here. Uh, you know, like I said, they're pretty damn big. You can put you can put a nice water bottle in there, stuff like that. But you know, when you fill this thing up, it sort of jams this up a little bit. But still, you can fit things in there. Uh, here is a little bag. I just got a bunch of uh, 550 in it. Uh, Hanks of 550, different uh, sizes and whatnot. Just keep them organized. Um, uh, on this top pocket here, on the Shimog, won't go anywhere without it. I think I'm even before scarf. This is one I'm gonna carry from now on because it, you can do so many things with it: strain, uh, filter water, uh, wrap up in it, scarf, head scarf. Uh, you can wrap it around your back. Uh, you know, give you extra. You know, to go along with your clothing that you have on, just give you extra layer. Um, you could clean with it, wash with it, uh, make char cloth with it. So many uses. Um, here is, I'm not going to take it out of this pack, but it's got a MSR Alpine stove in it. I think you may have seen it on the Ramian. And I also have Fire Kit in here too, but I'm not going to take it out. It says it's getting dark. Uh, that's all that's in there. Okay, but you can see that these pouches are pretty damn big. Look at that. It goes all, actually, it goes all the way down in. I got a uh, Alpo or a. Uh, Worthers in there, but uh, also it has these clips here that you can clip on a water bladder and it would come out and run right over and go down your uh, chest strap, shoulder strap. But uh, you can see how deep, look how long these pockets are. I mean, you can jam them full of stuff if you wanted to go all the way down into the uh, to the uh, slip pouch here. I mean, it goes to the bottom of that, and then you can use that for other things, but still, the point is, it's, you, you know, it's pretty big. It got the fast uh, tech uh, snap buckle, it's locked right in, you know, stuff ain't coming out. Um, up around this side, got the same setup. Snap buckle, um, but I have in here, uh, I have a, um, uh, I want to say 50 mil, I don't know, it's pretty heavy bag I mean it's big too it's probably big you can probably put this whole pack in this bag and I have a poncho wrapped up inside I have it that set up that way because I was camping over the last month with my family and we had a fire going all night man this thing got uh, smoke drenched man and uh, to be honest with you I don't like that but you know, hey it is what it is and I will do you will be seeing some uh, videos on the poncho shelter and whatnot coming up. A couple napkins which I could have used earlier today. And of course you can see the three empty bottles of water and take those back home and I want to leave them in the woods. I could have burned them up. But anyway. So again, here it is. Now it also has some extra features that um, this thing if you buy the I believe it's the A4SS weapons carrier or any of I think there's an A3 as well um, you can strap that onto the little brother and I think you can hook it on here as well onto the molly but on the back side here this opens up like so and then your gun would go down in here so it opens up like so and then the same thing here you have another portlet right here at the bottom and uh, you can you know the bottom would run out the bottom of course the top out the top and man I'm telling you man uh, this uh, J79 sky crane is I mean it's made uh, nuclear <laughs> nuclear proof man I'm telling you it's made really well very well all Everly stock stuff is I mean it is top of the line ironclad uh, bulletproof war proof nuclear proof atomic proof whatever you want to call it i mean i can't say enough about it uh, i can't give you a demo of it right now but i will uh, when this bay is open like this like i said you could put i mean huge bags of stuff whatever it may be like example if i killed a deer i could get the deer wrap it up in a garbage bag or something like that i mean of course quarter it and and then set it in here tie it in Close this over, bring these around, snap in, and you can lug the gear like that. I mean, whatever. Uh, it's, uh, it's 
awesome, man. It's awesome. I can't tell you how much. One reason why I bought this was not only that capability, but with the little brother, G1 little brother in here, and the fanny pack, you're really getting three packs. Um, and uh, if you look at my G1 little brother uh, demo, you can see how much you can pack that in. Now take the G1 little brother, strap it in here with the weapons case, and with everything that you see here, I mean, you can haul a load. Plus, you can attach a spike duffel or super spike duffel as well. It will zip in. I'll do that as well later. I'm just, uh, right now, this is mainly on the, uh, the um, J79 mainframe uh, pack first, or uh, separate video, um, you know, because the, the way this thing breaks down, man, is uh, awesome. But anyway, again, J79, Sky Crane. Um, oh, boy, get no, get no. J79 Sky Crane. Uh, it's in Coyote Brown. Uh, I was, I didn't, there's other colors they have. Uh, I really didn't want Coyote Brown, but after I've, uh, after I have it, actually, I like it pretty well. So I'm very happy about that as well. So again, YouTube, uh, here you go, J79 Sky Crane. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more coming. Uh, please, uh, I appreciate your uh, watching the video and uh, uh, appreciate you. Uh, I'd appreciate it as well if you could uh, subscribe to the channel, try to get my channel built up. You know, I'd appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we all will learn together, help together, and, and hopefully win together. So, uh, anyway, YouTube, take care. We'll see you next time.